There isn't any one of us here, not any one of us, who hasn't had loss in our life. So consequently, we can be in relationship with other human beings. Just after I heard about Michelle's being here, I received this uncorrected proof in the mail of a book. I didn't know about it. It's called When Children Grieve. And yesterday, I was reading about a boy whose dad died very suddenly of a heart attack. This boy had gone to school. His dad had gone off to work. The boy came back from school, but the dad didn't come back from work. And at a place very much like the caring place, he was encouraged, his name was Jeffrey, he was encouraged to write a letter to his dad. And they had had some times together in which they had tussled uh, and didn't agree on certain things, just like all of us. And when he finally wrote this letter, he presented it to the people in the, in the center. And they rejoiced. Here's what he said. Dear Daddy, I have been remembering our times together, and I have found some things I want to say. Daddy, I miss you. Now, when I read that for the first time, I just burst into tears. My dad died in 1970, and I grieved, naturally, but it's obvious that I'm carrying that with me always. Sure, I miss him. This little boy said, Daddy, I miss you. Well, I still miss my dad. I'm sorry for all the times I was stubborn. I'm sorry for arguing with you. Sometimes I thought you were too strict with me. I forgive you. <laughs> you never let me win any arguments. I forgive you. <laughs> Daddy, sometimes I just stare off into the hills and think about the times we went hiking. I want to keep my Swiss Army knife forever because it reminds me of you. I think you were the smartest person in the world, even though it made you win all the arguments. I was really proud of you. I don't think I ever told you that. I'm sorry. I hope you knew how proud I was. Daddy, I'm so sad that you had to die. It's so unfair. I love you, I miss you, goodbye, Daddy. Nine years old. Well, children need to talk about their feelings. It's healthy to talk about their feelings. Feelings are legitimate, and they're wonderful people in this world who want to help. And I'm very grateful to be able to be a, a small part in this marvelous ministry. Thank you.